redeem you. I was wrong. Again, this is one of uh, Warner Bros. Animation, DC Animation's uh, latest films. Has an all-star cast of uh, people. Everyone from Jillian Jacobs to Laura Bailey, Yuri Lowenthal. Ooh. <laughs> Again, Janet he Hardy. Was Robin. Kevin I could pa- hear it. Yep, 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 yep. You nailed it. I know uh, my Ben 10. And uh, Kevin Pollack. I'm a mean, great actor. Kevin Pollack playing, doing the voice of, uh, of the Joker. And a number of other really talented uh, people. Um, Again, I'm, I'm I'm a fan of the, the just the in, the Injustice series in general, and seeing this is like yeah, kind of go see this in you know in in motion. Really cool to me. Want to give this a chance? I mean, I uh, Mark and I had a conversation the other day about um, more often than not, a lot of the adaptations we've gotten of specific books have been kind of uh, undercooked, underbaked in my opinion. But like this is one I think you can expand on. Especially from the video games and the comics, and so I'm, I'm hopeful for this. But what, what are your overall reactions to? to I'm like you. This? I love the Injustice line, uh, and uh, if you've heard me say it, I, I, I've said this a million times on DT. Not a big fan mm-hmm. of reusing the same hero multiple times. I get you. Mm-hmm. Okay, don't love Batman being at the focal point again. Semicolon, however, comma. Mm-hmm. It's Injustice, so it's different. Yeah, so it's a little different. Yeah. Um, I've always liked the Injustice line for the simple fact of. Thank you. Thank you very much, Superman. Came in and killed the Joker. <laughs> he did what should have been done probably a should long time done. ago. Yeah. What are there conversations for? Yeah, that's there fair. Be no, there's no conversations to be had. This man has killed millions. Mm-hmm. Since there's a limit to the amount of characters you can actively include in, mm-hmm. in the video game, mm-hmm. um, which is my primary exposure. Uh, I, I'm glad that they're in, incorporating a lot more characters yeah, because they they're able to pull on a lot of different areas. Uh, I'm really hoping that they just go balls to the wall and have full fun with it, which I, I'm expecting them to do. And I do have a lot more faith in their animated properties, even if all, of, even if a lot of them um, more recently have been a little more undercooked, as, or that's how y'all feel. Mm-hmm. Um, usually, they, I would still say that they try their best to do a like a faithful or yes. a good representation of it. I don't mm-hmm. think that they go in without the love that comes with it. I'm, I'm very hopeful for this. You know, I mean, yeah, they have the expanded roster of characters. I think that'd be fun. You know, I think, I think you know, to our point, it's like, yeah, Superman, he kills the Joker, but it's like, what comes after that? Batman always says, it's a great line, and funny enough, in, another, in a, a great comic, but even a greater adaptation in Batman of the Red Hood, Batman is like, it's not that, you know, I don't want to kill the Joker, talking mm-hmm. to Jason Todd. Not that I don't want to kill him. I want to kill him so bad. But he says, if I do that, if I, if, I, if I put him through every agonizing torture that he ever put someone else through and then finally end him, I'll never stop. I'll never come back from that. Cool. I will keep killing. Don't come back. But in this case, this in, this, in, 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 in this case, <laughs> Superman creates a fascist police state where you have to do anything, everything that Superman says. And it's that escalation. It's it's that. That's what that's what Batman's concern was. That's why it stops himself from doing the thing that we all just think is like obvious. This ain't the Scarecrow. This ain't Poison <laughs> Ivy. This ain't one of them people who you like. Yeah, they kind of suck, but normally they spend nine times out of ten at Arkham. This yeah. is the Joker. Just kill the dude. Man, you are literally quoting what Jason Todd says to Batman. <laughs> he says, this is not Scarecrow. This isn't Penguin. This isn't Dent. It's bro, him. Bro, it's just the Joker, bro. I'm like, wow, that other was people nuts. I can justify the Joker. I can't. I understand why Batman feels the way he does. And in the end, he is absolutely right. <laughs> because once Superman does kill Joker, he does create that really fascist police state. And then it becomes like a story where it's like, you have the Bat. You, have, you, you actually have a good reason for Batman v Superman, where you know where Batman's uh, has the underground, and he's just working with all these heroes that mm-hmm. don't want to be under Superman's reign, or uh, other people, all the citizens and things. And it's it, it's a really interesting premise, really interesting story. And so to see this adapted and and to give people an opportunity that have not played the games or the comics to see it, I think that's really cool. And it'll, and again, as I said at the top, we can finally see, and we have seen evil Superman, but here's an example of a good evil Superman story. One that actually makes sense, that is makes conceivable. Mm-hmm. So, hey, happy look, for that. I've been saying this since day one. You know, I'm going to be a fan of this. Mm-hmm. I'm team. I, I'm te- I was team. Viltrumite. <laughs> oh, excuse me? What? Hey, uh, I was, <laughs> if you caught me after Invincible came out, I was the first person. Okay. Because I, cause I watched it uh, verbatim. So, I watched it like after that last episode, I straight up told people, I was like, yo, Viltrumite's running through. I'm team Viltrumite 100%. Yeah. 
Like, there's no questions. So I'm Team Superman here. Okay. All right. Bro, Fair I'm enough. Not, I'm not. <laughs> what, what's 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 there? What's what, it's not because oh you're gonna you know just roll over like yeah mm-hmm. these dudes can wipe us out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, also, also Omni Man was talking some sense, but but that's just me. That's hey, I, I I might be I might be evil. That's all. Okay, that might that might be it because I'm like Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like, did we see the same episode? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you did you fall asleep during the parts when he was literally turning all the people into meat? <laughs> hey, bro, they were there at the wrong time. Shit. What do you mean they were just doing they were doing their own fucking thing? They were living their lives, and hey. he comes in so like here's a here's a train, son, and they're like ah, they can't get out of the goddamn train, hey, bro. <laughs> hey, look, so when you when you hear someone get into a car accident, uh huh, passing away, you're like that's an unfortunate circumstance. And yeah. same shit happens. Yeah. Omni Man come through. That's an unfortunate circumstance. Jesus Christ! You should be a lawyer for uh, <laughs> like the boys' heroes for VOD or for Omni Man. <laughs> that's an unfortunate circumstance. Oh my Omni- lord! No, no, not even in the boys. The boys, I got issues with. But like, hey, Omni Man is the one where I'm like, he's talking. <laughs> why? He's the one talking sense. Uh-huh. He's like, why are we fighting? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs>